what's going on YouTube today I'm gonna to be doing how to change your front brake fluid simple and easy so as you guys can see you always want to keep your brake fluid kind of yellow clear color so I'm gonna use a suction syringe to take all, all of that old oil out fill it up with new and then I'll, I'll bleed it through the brake lines well, this is an 08 Jigzer. When I bought it, I'm sure they haven't done the the brake fluid maintenance on it. And it looks like it's two for one. So I'm gonna go ahead today and do that. All right. So I got all of that old oil out, just nice and clean. I want to show you guys. That's the new oil that's gonna be going in, and show you the difference on how old this oil was. So they usually recommend changing it every five years. Look at that difference. So now I'm gonna put some new oil in there and then I'm, I'm gonna bleed it from the front brakes. If you guys are gonna do this on your own, make sure you don't um, absorb it or bleed it all the way out to where it gets some um, air bubbles because then you're gonna have to redo the process all over again. So just try to uh, keep an eye out on the reservoir. So what you guys want to do is keep the valve here closed. So then you're going to go up here on your front brake and pump it twice. And then on the third time, you're going to hold the brake lever and then open up the gauge here. So you could just um, create some pressure to release all that old oil press down on the brake I'm gonna close down the gauge here so you gotta repeat that a few times and close it when you release the brake up here you see how I'm holding it and you let it go so the the dirty oil is still in there on the brake lines. So I'm going in here. So you guys can see the oil is kind of getting a little bit more clear. But we're still going to do it a few more times. You gotta pump your brakes till you start seeing the the clear oil come out the brake fluid and then you can stop and then retain it here and close your cap and everything else You guys can see the big difference. The old oil. So you gotta make sure you still have plenty of oil in there so you won't catch any air. Cause then that would create air bubbles in your brake line and that's not good for the brake. So that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. I know it's kind of boring, it's a different video than what we usually do. Just repeat the same process a few times until we start seeing the clear oil here. And then just lock it back up. If you need to uh, fill this up again, your brake reservoir there, fill it up. Not too high because you still got to put the little cap on there. So 
that's where you connect it make sure it's really nice and tight after you guys are finished so you won't be dripping any oil out of there and have a major accident so make sure it's nice and tight as you guys can see it's a big difference it's clear now that's the way it should be i'm just gonna fill it up a little bit more the jigsers they recommend dot four i went with castro brake fluid dot four synthetic brake fluid it's my first time using it but i've read a lot of good reviews about the castro brake fluid so if you guys like the video make sure you guys give it a nice big thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new uh, let me know if you guys want to see part two while well, i do the rear brake fluid exchange catch you guys on the next one